In this video, we explore the exact pressures required by the R1234YF refrigerant, mainly used in automotive air conditioning systems. We'll also briefly analyze its thermodynamic behavior. R1234YF is the replacement gas for R134A, but only in the manufacturing of new vehicles, as has been the case for several years now. It's worth noting that while R134A does not damage the ozone layer, it does have a much higher global warming potential compared to R1234YF. Let's now observe the behavior of R1234YF in the cooling cycle. 1. Let's begin by selecting R1234YF in the simulator. At this point, the AC system is turned off, so the temperature of the evaporator and condenser will be the same, and the pressure of the gas will correspond to the ambient temperature. In this example, we'll assume an outside temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, resulting in the following pressure values. 2. When the automotive AC system is turned on, without revving the engine yet, the evaporation temperature will be close to 4 degrees Celsius. We'll set the superheat, which is the temperature increase in the evaporator, at 5 degrees Celsius. Similarly, the subcooling, defined as the temperature drop of the refrigerant in its liquid phase at the condenser outlet, will also be set at 5 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the condenser is influenced by the amount of refrigerant in this part of the system, the heat released by the vehicle's engine, and the ambient outdoor temperature. In this case, we'll estimate the condensing temperature by adding 20 degrees Celsius to the ambient temperature, resulting in 50 degrees Celsius. With these parameters, the following pressure values are obtained. 3. However, it's important to mention that the pressure shown on the gauges depend on the altitude above sea level where the vehicle is located. For example, if we change the altitude to 1,500 meters, the resulting pressure values will be as follows. Remember, the link to this online simulator is available in the video description. 4. Now let's check the pressure values at an altitude of, for example, 3000 meters. 5. When the vehicle is accelerated, the evaporator temperature should drop, since more refrigerant gas is being drawn out of the evaporator. This causes the pressure at this point to decrease reaching the following pressure value. 6. During that same acceleration, the refrigerant gas being pulled by the compressor flows more rapidly toward the condenser. This increases the pressure and temperature in that area, raising the overall condensing temperature. In this case, we'll estimate the condensing temperature by adding 25 degrees Celsius to the ambient temperature observing the following pressure. Remember, the link to this online simulator is included in the video description.